Well, hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Bollywood Buzz right here on American Bollywood Television. I'm Sumi. And I'm Nikki and we're here to provide you with the latest information happening in Bollywood. Well, people right here on Bollywood Buzz, we talk about uh, different aspects of Bollywood regarding gossip, news, this and that. And talking about this and that happening now and then, let's talk about Arijit Singh and his letter, which was posted on Facebook, which actually went out to Salman Khan. Yes, and however, he did post a letter, but hours later, he deleted it, saying he knows it's going to cause backlash. So the backstory behind all this, Arjit Singh and Salman Khan had a bit of a controversy and Salman Khan was very angry at Arjit Singh and he was not returning his calls, not returning his texts and Arjit Singh is very serious and he's very sad that Salman Khan might take his song out of the new movie Sultan so he's begging and pleading that he keep the song and he's apologizing. And, and you know what, Nikki, I think talking about the issue itself, I don't think it was like so big and I think it got blown out of the proportion because the issue that happened wasn't a, too big of an issue where Salman actually had to, you know, like be so serious and so sad about it or say so angry about it that he took this song out of the movie. He has not yet taken the song out of the movie. Not Arijit, thinking about taking it out. Right. Arijit Singh is very concerned, so he sent out a letter and we hope it just gets sorted out because it's unnecessary drama. Okay. Popular singer Arijit Singh seems very upset and his Facebook page posts stands witness to the mental and emotional turmoil he's going through. Going by the two recent posts by the Tumhiho artist, all is not right between crew members of the much-awaited Salman Khan star Sultan. Speculations have been right about Arijit, who has sung a song for Salman in Sultan, having rubbed the superstar the wrong way at a gala music program. Now, confirming the rumors, a worried Arijit posted a heartfelt letter on his Facebook profile, pleading Salman to retain the song sung by him in Sultan. The singer also apologized to the Ekta Tiger hero, enumerating the times he tried to personally apologize to the star, but to no avail. When Arijit posted the letter on such a public platform as Facebook, there were concerns about whether this was a wise decision. After all, precedent suggests otherwise. Or was this Salman's way of ensuring a public apology from Arijit for the wrong he may or may not have committed? It seems the singer had second thoughts as well, since he later deleted the post within an hour. Instead, he posted this, I hope he gets my letter through some way. P.S. This whole thing will backfire at me, I know. Prayers. And you know what, Nikki, looking at this whole situation, more than sad, it's a very sorry kind of situation. Exactly, and let's just pray for Arijit like he wants. Yeah, More prayers. Exactly, and let's hope Salman, well, being the big brother, he's going to forgive him, and everything's going to be pretty smooth in Bollywood. Well, people, everybody has that dream of making loads of money. We have that dream as well, but then somebody like Priyanka Chopra, she's making a lot of money in a very short period of time. That's so right. we're talking about not, you know, like 5, 10 crores, but 100 crore rupees in only 40 days. That's right. So Priyanka Chopra is going to be flying into India and in 40 days she has 24 commercials lined up with beauty products, American jewelry brands, various things and even some drinks I've heard. Um, and she's making 100 crore rupees in, only in 40, 40 days. days. 30 days is based on shooting and I'm guessing the 10 days she's going to be visiting. But or that's probably a big dubbing, amount. but in total, it's going to be 40 days and 100 crore rupees. Wow. Bollywood is one of the costliest industry in India. In terms of glamour, gossips, films, performances and controversies, Bollywood film industry is always first to make a buzz. The female actors make money equally with the male stars in Hindi. We have so many examples to prove that. Recently, the talented actress Priyanka Chopra has been to Hollywood for an English film and she will be getting back to Mumbai very soon. Even before she has landed in India, her call sheet is said to be occupied with latest commitments. The actress is said to be in Mumbai for 40 days and had reportedly signed on for 24 new advertisement campaigns 
for which she will start shooting very soon. She will finish the shoot in a month and for an approximate schedule of 40 days, she is going to earn a whopping amount of 100 crore rupees. She is going to endorse some of the brands like Jewelry Line, Premium Airline Brand, Pan Masala, Fruit Beverages and few others as well. So you don't know, like being a big celebrity? Well, there are various ways of making money and movies is just one of them. Exactly, and it is a lot of hard work. Although we say, mm -hmm. oh, she's making 100 crores in 40 days, she's doing 24 different commercials for different companies. That means a lot of running around, a lot, a lot of, of hard work, a lot, of, a lot work. of shooting, because we know, right, how difficult it gets during shoots. So, but it wouldn't be bad to have 100 crores in 40 I days. I wouldn't mind at all. <laughs> All right, so we just took a Snapchat following Jacqueline Fernandez. That's right, the queen of Snapchat <laughs> in Bollywood. So Jacqueline Fernandez recently went to HT Most Stylish Awards 2016, and thanks to her, we got a whole inside look on the awards. The Sri Lankan beauty's obsession with Snapchat has just given us some really cool inside pictures of HT Most Stylish Awards 2016. You might be wondering how the stylish awards are being held twice in a span of few months. Earlier, the event held in Mumbai were for nominations of the awards, whereas the awards took place in Delhi last night. Present among the Bollywood town celebs were Jacqueline Fernandez, Akshay Kumar, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, Abhishek Bachchan, Amitabh Bachchan, Sonam Kapoor, Lisa Hayden, Ritesh Deshmukh, and many more. Needless to say, they were all decked up for the night as they took home some stylish awards. While everyone was preoccupied with what to wear and how to handle whatever they wore, Jacqueline was in some other zone. The diva's obsession with Snapchat resulted in us getting these really cool inside pictures of what really happened at the most stylish awards last night. A lot of selfies happened using the filter face swap. The cast of Household 3 shown at the event, even Asin was present, so without a doubt, some selfies definitely made way to Jacqueline's Snapchat story. Even best friend Sonam Kapoor's pics were present on her snap story looking hot in her androgynous avatar. Akshay too was indulged in a lot of face swap scenes. Oh, and she did some face swap scenes on the sets of So You Think You Can Dance? Check out all the pictures in the gallery. Alright, so all you Snapchatters out there, well, Jacqueline Fernandez might just be one person you might just want to add to your list of your Snapchat friends. That's right. By following her, you get the latest updates on all the celebrities that she's exactly. hanging out with. And you get to see some really cool pictures about what happens behind the scenes. And you never know what she's going to snap next. You know what, Nikki, when we talk about uh, Bollywood or Hollywood, we always talk about the glam side of it right. and the money that they make. But then we seldom talk about the different kind of risks that they have to take during the shoot as well. That's right. Right now, we're talking about Nawazuddin Siddiqui, who for a certain movie was in a danger zone. Well, the thing is like he was in this area which was restricted to people and he was there shooting for a movie and if he had moved like even an inch left or right he could have been shot by a sniper that's right while shooting for raman raga 2.0 uh, nawaz was in this very high alert zone mm -hmm. with lots of snipers and if he had just forgotten where to go and just moved over just one inch he could have been shot and it could have been fatal as we exactly. know snipers are very great at what they do so uh, although there's a lot of gram glamour in Bollywood, there's also a lot of things where these celebrities are really putting their lives at stake for these great movies. So exactly. I can't wait to see this movie. So we need to appreciate them for that as well. That's for right. the high risk kind of things that they take. This method actor went on to another level of taking risk while shooting for Raman Raghav 2.0. The team was shooting near the airport, which is a restricted area and is watched over by snipers 24-7. The area is so much of high alert that the security personnel have orders to shoot at sight, if at all anyone breaches the restricted area code. But in order to get the shot right, the team had to shoot with Nawazuddin Siddiqui at the site and instructed the actor not to move even an inch or else would be shot. 
However, the shot was done and the shoot got over smoothly. But to add to the ordeal, the footage was not recorded for some technical reasons. The team, after some last-minute alteration, was finally able to retrieve the data and successfully shoot the most difficult shot of the film. This was certainly a life and death situation for the crew, especially Nawazuddin, who was almost on the line of fire. Kudos to the terrific actor and the team to deliver in such a difficult situation. All right, people, welcome back to Bollywood Buzz right here on American Bollywood Television. Sumit so and Nikki keeping you updated about the latest happenings in Bollywood. And right now, let's talk about a man who's been lost for quite some time but is back with a beard. Oh, yes, mysterious beard. <laughs> Who may I ask? Um, so, Sunil Shetty is now the brand ambassador for Beardo. And his beard looks amazing. Exactly. Oh and my goodness. Uh, that's that's where he was gone. That's uh, where he was gone. He was growing that beard. Growing the beard. All right. So, he took quite some time. And let's see what a beard is look like. Beardo, the leading men's grooming brand, has partnered with the ace entrepreneur and the hunk of Bollywood, Sunil Shetty. He now has taken on the role of a brand mentor at Beardo. Sunil Shetty is one of the most prominent and influential personalities in the movie industry. He combines class with elegance and flamboyance. These are precisely the qualities that are embroiled in our brand, as explained by Ashutosh Valani, co-founder of Beardo. According to Priyank Shah, co-founder of Beardo, Sunil Shetty is the perfect choice. Take a look at his beard. He is also highly respected in the country and enjoys an outstanding reputation as a businessman. I personally prefer to associate with brands that I can vouch for, and Beardo is one such brand. The men's grooming industry is currently booming, and I am extremely thrilled to play an active role in influencing this beard revolution," said Sunil Shetty. Well, you know what, Nikki? Well, that's one product. It might just come handy for me as well. It started to grow. Some <laughs> you know, I mean, there is barely any. Yes, yeah, I that's guess. what I'm saying. That's why I need that product. That so you can look like Sunil Shetty. That's why uh, you need that product. Exactly look like him, but then maybe my beards might just look like his. Definitely, and he looks great, so we wish him all the best in his new venture. And maybe he'll start acting in Bollywood. And maybe you should try it out as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, right now on Bollywood Buzz, let's talk about one of the most beautiful actors in Bollywood, none other than Uday Chopra and <laughs> Nargis Fakri. Oh, okay. Nargis what? Fakri. Okay. So <laughs> what happened with them? So basically, Nargis Fakri and Uday Chopra, they might have been dating, they might have not been dating. However, there have been reports that they recently broke up and that Nargis okay. has gone back to, I think, Queens, New York, where she's originally So we from. actually don't know if they are dating or they're not, but then they broke up. That's yes. for sure. Okay. Yes. So Uday Chopra, <laughs> who is very mum about any of the rumors, tweeted to Nargis, he actually tagged her in a tweet saying, Hey Nargis, did you hear we were apparently dating and now that we've broken up? And she just responded with a thumbs up. This happened a few days ago. Since then, many speculations are coming onto media and Uday Chopra finally comes up with an official info. Uday Chopra said, I normally don't respond to gossips, but now I have to. So much stories the media has created and it's time for me to stop those false news. Nargis Fakri and I have been and are very close friends. Our relationship is that much and there is nothing we are dealing here. So do not take this to imaginary levels. He tweeted by tagging Nargis that, Hey Nargis, remember when I said I don't respond to gossip? Well, I just broke that rule. Nargis Fakri reacted with a thumbs up to Uday and this shows frustration of her towards Uday Chopra. According to Uday, this is the true news but Nargis Fakri leaving the city is true and if the breakup is not the real reason, what would be the possible reason? According to sources, they were very happy in their relationship until Uday Chopra asked her to get married and she decided to focus on her career on Bollywood and Hollywood. Later, she wanted to give more space for her personal life. Due to their busy careers and having no time to spend with each other might be the reason for the loss of interest in relation and the leading to break up. Okay, so people, right now we're talking about <laughs> Uday Chopra and Nurgis Fakhti. And no, they are not the reasons why we are laughing. He just, just snorted. And he's just yawned. 
I guess uh, that was the actual reason. We are so bored with the gossips and stories that come out out of media. Because, you know, like talking about these couple here. Now, we, uh, we don't even know if they're a couple, <laughs> right? So this is funny. You know, like we don't even know if they are couples or in a relationship. But they've broken up. But they've broken up. That's funny. Thumbs up again. All right, so everybody, well, this Bollywood buzz has almost come to an end for this week on American Bollywood Television. But then, no worries, because we're going to be back next week with some more of happenings of Bollywood. That's right, and make sure you follow us on all of our social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and we upload all of our videos on YouTube. And we might soon have Snapchat as well. Yes. <laughs> We're going to be like Jacqueline Fernandez. Yeah. So until we meet again, I'm Sumit. And I'm Nikki. And keep watching the American Bollywood Television. Television.